Justice League of America is a new book brought to you in DC, which brings together a team that Batman handpicked himself. Before getting into the actual Rebirth episode showing the team coming together though, there was a few spin-off one-shot books that introduced most of the cast. We're gonna cover those for you now if you remember all the way back in the DC Rebirth number one issue, and if you don't, I'll give you the video down below. But if you do remember it, what ended up happening is Adam had been sucked into an unknown dimension, and it was his teaching aid that had to become the new Adam. We're bringing a pick up on that. Over at Ivy University in New England, the students all gather with their families for one final goodbye before officially attending school. Ryan's parents tell him that even though they are proud of him going to school for science, they don't want him to feel like they're forcing him to. Ryan tells them that he wanted to come to Ivy ever since he was a kid, so no, they're not forcing him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. With their final hugs, Ryan heads in to finally unpack and head to his first class. While sitting in on Ray Palmer's lectures, Ray begins to ask the class questions. Though Ryan doesn't answer directly, he silently mouths all of the correct answers, and Ray Palmer takes notice of that. After a year of studying underneath Ray Palmer, he eventually invites Ryan to his lab to go over his yearly review and ask him a very important question. Why is he studying science? Ryan tells him that it should be obvious. He wants to be in control, like he is. With all of his allergies and phobias, he has no control over his own life, and that's all he's ever wanted, control. Ray tells him that that isn't a good reason to study science. He's pretty sure there's a better answer. Ray then points to all of the awards and says that he had challenged him, and he has surpassed expectations. So again, what is the real reason that you're here? Ryan then says that it's just his whole life, he was so small that he was never noticed. But in science, sometimes the smallest things can be even more important than the big things. A tiny bit of uranium can create thousands of times the energy that a lump of coal could, and that is what he wants to show people. Ray smiles and tells him that that's interesting, so he guesses that he's finally ready. Ray then disappears, and Ryan gets up asking, where did he go? Seconds later, Ray grows back to normal size, telling him that small things do matter. It's truer than he could ever know. Ryan stares for a moment and then says, you're a superhero. Ray then says that he's a scientist with a specialized research rig, and he's the first person that he's telling. Ryan asks why show him, and Ray tells him it's because of perspective. All of the things that he may see as weaknesses force him to notice the details that others may miss. So together, they can continue their work mainly because they have the same hypothesis. Small things, huge outcomes. Ryan then tells him, all right, Professor Palmer, you're on. So for the next year, Ryan helped Ray as a support through all of his missions and things that he had done. After another successful night, the two go out for drinks, but as the week goes on, Ryan begins to sit at the bar, alone. He's even been canceling his classes, which is something strange even for him. After going to his lab, Ryan then notices the letters have been piling up and he decides to head inside. As the door opens, a video begins to play and on the screen, Ray begins to ask if he's watching this, then he's in big trouble. Last week he found a disruption deep within the temporal nanostructure of the timeline, so he shrunk down to the size of an atom and he found what he could only call the microverse. If Ryan's watching this, then that means that something happened to Ray, and Ryan's going to need to come to the microverse and get him out. On the desk is a size-changing belt, identical to his as well as a tether to help locate him. He will not only be saving his life, but the entire universe. Ryan looks at the belt, and he begins to think back to all of the times that Ray encouraged him for helping him, and then he grabs the belt. He puts it on, telling him, All right, Professor Palmer, you're on. That's the origin of the new Adam. Now he eventually goes on this adventure, or he's gonna be doing it later. It's a little unclear as to where this fits in, but he does join the new Justice League of America, where he seems to be becoming pretty good friends with Lobo. Anyway, if you enjoy these videos about these characters that are being brought into the new Justice League book, subscribe to this channel so we can bring you all of them, and eventually it will lead to Justice League Rebirth. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Comic Story, and I'll see you next time right here.